So today I have a very highly requested video and this is all about how to attract love in a relationship. Now this is not a video on how to attract a specific person, but it's just for those of you who want a relationship in your life and you want love and you feel like you've been unlucky in love, you feel like you haven't been able to manifest or attract a good person into your life or a good meaningful relationship because I know it gets boring playing the field so long <laughs> and you want to finally have somebody just to spend time with and really connect with. I have four tips for you guys today. Like most of my videos, the tips I give out and the advice I give out are based in my own personal experience. So this is how I attracted love and how I believe I set myself up to meeting my boyfriend and being in a meaningful relationship with him and finding someone who gives out so much love and I feel very, very happy with. And I only wish the same or more for you guys. I'm not gonna get too personal about my own life in this video. That's for a different video, but I do wanna share as much knowledge as I can with you guys. So yeah, without further ado, let's get on with tip number one. Tip number one is to love yourself first. Guys, if you don't love yourself first, why do you expect anyone else to love you? And self-love is as simple as feeling whole and complete on your own. Get rid of the notion that you have to have a significant other or a relationship or have somebody like you in order for you to feel whole and complete and perfect and beautiful on your own. That's a complete myth. You can be single for how many, no matter how many years, 10 years, five years, and you can be whole and complete on your own. Instead of looking around for love or waiting for someone to love you, you need to give yourself that love first. So focus on your goals, on your dreams. I say this so much, I feel like a broken record player, but focusing on your goals and dreams and your ambitions is what's gonna keep your mind off of this whole, I need to find a partner, I need to be in a relationship, I need a boyfriend, I need a girlfriend kind of mentality. So focus on the things you love to do. And instead of focusing on how lonely you are, focus on how fulfilled you are and whatever career you're in or whatever field you're in or whatever you're working on right now, what your projects are, feel fulfilled doing those things. Because us as humans, we are not defined by our relationship status so get rid of that notion and something that helped me is to travel <laughs> travel and see the world on your own with a friend with a family member but just save up your money and travel as much as you can I know for a lot of you it's easier said than done but once you take the first trip and you show yourself that you can travel anytime you want I promise you it's gonna become a habit you're gonna love it and you are going to meet so many people and the reason travel is so important is because we get caught up in our own little daily lives and our own little mentality here on a low local level and we don't realize there are so many people out in the world. There are billions of people out in the world and we have yet to meet so many of them because we're so closed off from the world. So it's important to travel and I met my special someone on my travels and if I would have never taken that trip, I would have never met him. That is life. So get out there and just do what you have to do. Save up money. Stop going out every weekend. Stop drinking every weekend. Save your weekend spending money and instead put it into a savings account or put it in a piggy bank where you can take it out for whatever you want to buy your plane ticket. Even if you don't love to travel, just do what you love. Focus on doing new things. Focus on adventure. Focus on opening your mind, even just reading new books and just opening your whole world up. And that way you'll grow. You'll grow as a person and you'll grow for your new potential partner and be just the best you can be because we attract what we are. So be what you wish to attract and attract love. You need to become love, which I will get into in a bit. And loving yourself is also treating yourself as you would a potential partner. So praise yourself. Look at yourself in the mirror and tell yourself how beautiful you are. And always look for the good and the positive in yourself. Whenever we meet somebody, we tend to fall in love and not really look at their 
their flaws and look at their weaknesses. We focus more on what's so wonderful and so good about them, how beautiful they are, how handsome they are, how they do certain things. And you need to fall in love with yourself the same way, the same way you would with a romantic partner or maybe even the way you would love a child or your best friend is the kind of way you should treat yourself. Stop expecting other people to give you that love that you can give yourself so easily. And it just starts with what you do day to day with your self-talk. Be positive with yourself. Be loving and proud of yourself. And be sure to take care of yourself, your well-being, your diet. Spend time with yourself. Spend time doing the things you love. Those are all ways to show yourself love. I have two videos on self-love. If you guys would like to check them out, I will link them down below. But make sure you vibrate love from every aspect of yourself. And the key is to feeling whole and complete on your own. Tip number two is to get into the vibration of love. And I know for a lot of you cold-hearted savages out there, it's really hard for you to be like, oh, I love life. You just want to be cold and want to be tough so nobody will hurt you. You need to stop that. I used to live like that. And that's why I was single and only attracted bad guys into my life because I had this cold exterior. I felt like nobody could hurt me, so I would not let anyone in. I wouldn't even let love in. I couldn't even read anything about love. I didn't even want to watch romantic movies. I didn't want anything to do with love. And that's why I never attracted it into my life. So instead, I became love and I raised myself to the vibration of love. So what you need to do is instead of focusing so much on romantic love, focus on giving out love. Give out love freely. Whatever it is that you put out to the universe is what will come back. So giving love out to your friends, your family, smile at strangers, do little things for the people you care about and show love. For me, a lot of that manifested itself in me writing to you guys, responding to comments. I love responding with much love, much love, positive vibes because I want to give that out to you so that my life will be filled with more love and your life will be filled with more love. So it's an even exchange. Give out love so you can get love. So make sure you give out love freely and you live your life with love and do everything with love. So don't close yourself off to love or to romance. Focus on platonic love, family love, your friends, whoever, and feel happy about love. And be happy for those in love. Don't feel envious when you see a happy couple in the street or when you see an Instagram post with somebody being all lovey-dovey. Feel happy for those people because love is the most magical, amazing thing in this world. Whether it be romantic or platonic or with your friends or your family or your pets, that love that emanates when you do what makes you happy that love is truly magical and that is what will transform your life. Stop being so cold and austere and stop trying to guard yourself off from the world and love. You don't need to do that because happy, positive people have an automatic guard of positivity around them and nothing will hurt you if you're a good, loving, positive person. So just some of my tips on how to get into the vibration of love. I highly recommend The Power by Rhonda Byrne. This is by the same author that wrote The Secret. This book is all about the power of love and it's not just about romance and this and that. It's actually about just how love affects every aspect of our life and how doing things with love and how the greatest creations were made with love. And I know it sounds super crazy and whatever, but it's truly, truly, truly powerful. And thanks to this book, I was able to open up my heart and invite so much love into my life. And I remember when I first bought this book, I couldn't even get myself to read it, like past the first section because I was just so cold and so cut off from the world and I just didn't want anything to do with love. I was so heartbroken and hurt. I didn't want anything to do with love, but I picked it back up probably about a year later and I read it and it's truly marvelous and changed my life. So it goes into the law of attraction, but mostly about the power of love. And if you're into crystals, I highly recommend the all powerful rose quartz. This is such a pretty pink, soft stone. Stone of the heart chakra, of love, of just kindness and softness and self-love. I really love it. You can wear it as jewelry, as a necklace, as bracelets. I have a bracelet in rose quartz. You can wear it as earrings. You could just take a little stone, like a little palm stone like this. Great to carry around with you. Maybe sleep with it under your pillow and just enjoy playing with these and touching these and they're so pretty to look at. So yeah, open up your heart and don't be afraid to love. Be open to love. Be open to all kinds of love and you'll raise your vibration and be in that 
wavelength that you need to be in in order for more love to come into your life. My third tip is to stop chasing love and stop chasing relationships. Stop being so hungry for affection, so hungry for people to love you, so hungry for just a relationship. Best things in life come to us when we're least looking for them. That's how I found my partner, that's how my partner found me. A lot of people asked him how he met me. And he says, I found her without even looking. And I feel the same way about him. I found him without even looking and without even chasing anything. It just happened, we both liked each other, and we both were committed to making things work. When you try to force things, that's when things don't work out. So you have to be effortless and just go with the flow. Stop trying to force things just because you want it. If it's meant to be, it will be yours. So you just have to relax. Same thing with relationship. When you're chasing things or you want things really bad and you are forcing things to happen or you're chasing people, you're putting yourself in the vibration of lack, which is the vibration of, I don't have it, so the universe is gonna match your vibration. That's why it's important to be in a vibration of love so the universe will come and match that vibration of love. So stop being in a vibration of lack. Stop saying things like, oh, I'm so single. Oh, I'm so sad. Oh, I'm so jealous of their relationship. Stop checking up on your ex's Instagram profile. Just let go of that whole chasing, what is everyone else doing? And instead, be happy and content in the present moment and know and be for sure, know for sure, and I can promise you, your person is out there. You will find your person. You just have to be patient and stop trying to chase or force things and make things happen with somebody who probably doesn't love you the way you should be loved. So just be relaxed, stop chasing people or situations or relationship or love, and just know that it, what is for you will come to you. So be relaxed about it, it's yours. I promise you, the love that you deserve is yours and it is coming to you. Just be patient, live your life, stop thinking about it, and just know it's coming. And finally, my fourth tip, and this might probably be the most difficult of them, but it's definitely, definitely, definitely key, and that is to let go of your past relationships, your past hurt, your past anger, heartbreak, infidelity, whatever it is, whether you hurt someone or someone hurt you, whether your past relationship was a messy divorce or you lost custody of your children, whatever, I need you to let that go. You are not gonna be able to move forward until you let go of the past. And once you let go of the past, it will no longer have control over you. Your past cannot dictate your future unless you allow it to. So know that old relationships don't have a place in your future. Just because someone hurt you or cheated on you doesn't mean your future relationship is going to have that same pain and hurt, only if you allow it. So this requires that you work on your subconscious limiting beliefs, which I need to make a video on that because that's very, very important. Work on healing yourself from whatever happened, emotional abuse, physical abuse, cheating, neglect, whatever you went through in the past, just know that that stuff is not love. People don't hurt you when they love you. Just know that, that is not love. Love is supposed to heal, love is supposed to care for you, but you need to heal first and you need to show yourself self-love and go through therapy, journal, meditate, exercise, do things that are gonna help you heal slowly and the process is gonna take time. Be patient with yourself, it's okay if you're still heartbroken over your ex, but you need to focus Focus on working to get over them because the next person you want in your life you don't want to bring in that baggage from your previous relationship you don't want to hurt your new relationship just because you have trust issues from your previous one so you need to make sure that you set yourself up on a clean slate for your new relationship and this new love that's coming to you and heal first before you should expect anyone else to come into your life and heal you in some kind of way. So let go of the past. Just let go of the negativity that can surround the idea of love. Love is not all sunshine and rainbows. Just because someone falls in love with you or you fall in love with someone and you guys are together doesn't mean that your past pain or your anxiety or your depression will go away. You have to work on those things on yourself. And don't expect love to come and fix all your problems, although you can find somebody absolutely amazing who's willing to work with you and to make you happy and to grow and to build a life with you. You still need to focus on yourself so you can also better somebody else's life. A relationship is two people, so they help you, you help them. But in order to help people, you need to build yourself up on your own so that 
one day, if things go wrong, you still have yourself. And that's the most important part. All right, guys, so I hope this video helped you. If it did, please be sure to give me a thumbs up and leave me your comments down below. I love to hear from you guys. And don't forget to follow me on social media. I'm on Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter. And all links are down below, and any videos I mentioned are down below as well. And thank you guys so, so much <laughs> for helping me reach 100,000 subscribers. I cannot believe there is already 100,000 of you. You guys are the best. You guys are the most amazing, beautiful people. And I'm so, so, so blessed and grateful to be able to connect with all of you. So thank you guys so very much. And if you haven't joined this beautiful, amazing, happy family positivity, please be sure to subscribe to see more videos from me. And I will see you guys soon. Bye-bye. Oh, I almost forgot. Always remember guys, no matter if you're in a relationship, if you're single, if you found the love of your life or not yet, no matter how you may look, no matter where you may live, no matter who you are in this life, your true beauty, your true worth, and your true power always come from within. I love you guys and I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.